Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. We got a hive removal to do under an elevated house that initially when I got here, I thought, wow, that hive done run out through the framing. But I picked a piece of that off and that's creosote running out of this old beam. House was built sometime in the 50s and uh, She's getting a little old. That was a seal up from earlier this year. Now the bees are coming in right at the top of that shutter. I've been watching for a few minutes to make sure they weren't just robbing something out or they weren't going in the soffit. They're definitely going behind that shutter, but I can't see. And the reason I, I was curious, maybe they were robbing something out is if you can see right by this knot hole there's a whole bunch of ants going in and out i'm gonna go inside and turn the flare on you might not be able to see it for the sun but that house right over there i pulled a hive out of that eyebrow from the inside two years ago so there's a lot of activity in this here area got a little vacation cottage here Show is nice. This is a corner. You can see them come in. Coming in up around the top of that window. This area here. Got a little bit of heat around the top of that top of that wall, but not much. That'll make me real confident about them being in that wall, but I don't know where else they could be. There's more heat down around that floor. I think I'm gonna take a chance. What I do now, I got that hole stabbed. I'll just go in here. I'm feeling insulation right there. You see a little push back on that bit? Yeah, I'm not hitting any wax right there at all. If you hit wax, you'll come out with a sticky bit. I can hear them, but sound resonates pretty good through these walls. That's why I People always suggest using a stethoscope. Well, a stethoscope don't work. <laughs> Thank the Lord for hot dog windows. <laughs> I can just reach out the window here and look and see. There's not enough room behind that shutter for them. So I'm guessing they're probably running that shutter down to where they were blocked out before. Going in up top on the other side too. There's ants or the ants is, is right over there. Definitely not here. There's a header here, so they're not above the window. Only place they could be is in the ceiling. Or Nothing but floor. Oh, there it is. There they are. Let me get you up in there where you can see that. Oh boy. Highly unusual for them to travel that far down to build comb. I'm gonna pull this soffit back. Two pieces, I guess. That way I can pull this insulation down and have room to work. Yeah, there's the... Well, I should have... I should have trusted my equipment. <laughs> it showed me... It's showing me heat in the floor. I should I should have understood there's heat in the floor, even though I couldn't see from up there. Well, I couldn't see without pulling down this soffit how they were above this beam, because I thought this beam was another good uh, four inches high, as wide as it is. It's it's about an hour till sunset, and I need to go see Horchoff before dark 
So I'm gonna cut out of here and finish this up tomorrow. I'm going over to see Horchow, see if he'll buy me an apology dinner. And we're back. I'm getting started on it this morning. I feel like, <laughs> it's been four months. I feel like I've lost my touch. I don't really feel like I even know what I'm doing anymore. So I want to get my frames ready for them. But I've got some old drawn frames, sides like this where it's pretty evenly drawn and it's on the foundation. I want to leave that. These have been through the freezer. Sides like this where they're up off the foundation. I want to get rid of all that. This is still good wax. It's good and soft, good to reuse. I can melt it down and, ref and uh, refine it. But I'm gonna scrape this side of this frame down, put this in there with them, because I'm gonna be feeding them up after I get them in here. This late in the year, this is December, on the December 10th or something. Somewhere around there. I don't keep track of the days anymore. And let's scrape down. It's got a little bit of wax left for them now. They'll do something with it, whether they build off of it or move it, they'll do something with it. And then I'll take all this, just wad it up, save it for later, put it in my melter. That still had honey in it. Today's Sunday, so kind of a leisure day. I'm just laid back. If I take all day to do this thing, well, I can't take all day because my wife and my daughter want to go over to New Orleans and pick up a rocking chair. I had a uh, scorching on fire sore throat this morning, so I didn't go to church and figured bees probably can't get sick from me. <laughs> so I'm over here doing this cutout, kind of taking my time. It's been it's been a good four months. Hey, little bass! It's been a good four months since I've done a cutout or even touched a beehive, for that matter. So I was kind of questioning myself yesterday when I started putting tools together. I was like, man, I don't, I don't even know what to take. It took me about an hour to put everything together and figure out. I was pretty confident with what I had. And then <laughs> as I, when I came over here and started, I was like, man, it's almost like your first one. But then as soon as I cut into it and grabbed it comb, and it's like it's all coming back. It's kind of like riding a bike. So I'm trying to, I'm kind of taking my time. And, Relaxing today, watching the fish. Every once in a while a boat will come by. It's nice out here today, 68 degrees. Pretty sunny day. trying to go for my hair so I changed up to a lighter colored shirt they were going for my shirt and my hair put a hat on my head had to find my queen cage queen clip too it's in a bucket of rusty tools she won't care though They're getting stirred pretty easy might have to put some gloves on to do this one lightweight B slash mosquito jacket and I might have to get me some gloves on before it's all said and done I'm back here regrouping I might have to uh, get my B jacket <laughs> when I turn the light on boy it set them off I can do it out of light I was just trying to get some good video I guess this is part of getting back into it I got two gloves 
I generally try to do these without a vacuum whenever possible, but this one might not be that, that case because they are really mean. And now that I've got this veil on, I can see I'm going to need a light because I can barely see through the veil to see what I'm doing. Yeah, whooping my tail. I'm gonna keep going. I hadn't found any brood or eggs, and uh, hive's pretty dry, which is probably why they're irritable. They're, um, I think once I get all the hive out, they'll quit being so defensive, and from what I can see, there's only maybe three pieces of comb left. Uh, it can't go much deeper than that because the outside wall is right past where I'm looking. I think I've about got the hive out. Once I get the hive out, I'm just gonna set it all down in this hive body here. And we'll see how they change their temperament. But I'll let you know, I'm not gonna film the rest of the, of the uh, cutting it out because you can't really see anything. Camera's in my way and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, pretty well, as I suspected, after I pulled the last piece of comb out, which was less than two minutes ago, they've calmed down considerably and they're just right now trying to find out where the heck their home went. Got the whole hive in this box. And most of it's just crunchy combs. Got a little bit of honey in it. All that capped on top, you can see is honey. There's no brood, no eggs, and I didn't see a queen. Doesn't mean there's not a queen. I just haven't seen her yet. She's not in that box, I can tell you that much. You can tell they've calmed down quite a bit because they're, they're not attacking the light anymore. They're still attacking me though. That was a sting to the temple. Light is still setting them off a little bit, but they have calmed down considerably since I put them in. Since I put the hive in that hive body, they're not attacking me so bad anymore. So I'm at a standstill right now. There's nothing else that I can do except for frame up that comb, which I'm fixing to do real quick. But that whole uh, shutter area up that front wall, all the way to almost to the top plate, has got bees in it where they ran to hide whenever I start cracking that, when I started uh, hitting that comb and it was making all that <coughs> that they hate so bad. In, anytime something like that is disturbing the hive, they hide the queen. So she's no doubt, if there is a queen in there, no doubt she's up behind that shutter on the front wall. So my wife and my daughter will be here in a few minutes to go get that rocking chair. It's about a two hour round trip from here to New Orleans. And uh, when I come back, all the bees that are in that wall will be back in the in the location of the hive, and I can just turn the vac on and suck them all up. Be gone, my friend. Well, we just took a two and a half hour break to go get a chair from Louisiana because it was such a sweet deal. Was it a sweet deal? <laughs> it's not a glider. Now we're headed back so I can finish my bee removal. And then, this is, is this the road? Yes. Shawnee? Yeah. And then we have to do YouTube videos for schoolwork. 
I never thought I'd be doing YouTube for schoolwork. Yeah, you never thought you'd be doing schoolwork. I know. I never have done schoolwork. I just skated by no, somehow. I did it. <laughs> you did all my work for me. Now, theoretically, I, will, I should have three degrees by the time we get done with this. You should have. Pretty smart. Pretty swift. I would say you're the one that's smart. You got me to do it. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get you to do nothing, you volunteered. Well, I come back to a whole lot of activity. Possibly a robin frenzy. And I'll, just, I'll see how they act. Uh, this is just a old piece that I pulled out of a frame. Destroyed the frame getting it out, so it's frame and the cone's useless. Yeah, they're not moving in, they're just robbing it. We got an hour till sunset. And looks like most of them are in there. Yeah, taking that hive out pretty well. Took the fight out of them. <laughs> as soon as I say that, they're gonna come buzz my mouth. They're not being aggressive at all right now. They're just concentrating on robbing that box out. I am gonna have to wait on the dark, and they should all be piled up in that corner come dark. <sighs> I had to do a little self-assessment. Everybody wants a sting count on these things. I had to kind of figure out how many times I've been stung and where. So I took one in the temple here, one in the hairline over here somewhere, uh, about four on each forearm, a couple on some fingers, and three in my right bicep and right shoulder. So, count it up. I don't know how many that is. Took, probably would have took another couple dozen, but uh, you get pretty quick when they... I don't know what it is about black hair. It's not the whole... They think it's a bear thing. But uh, when they get in your hair, they just crawl in and try to go to your scalp. So if you're not quick, you get hit in the scalp. And that doesn't feel good. I'm pretty quick about grabbing them, wadding them up in my fingers and throwing them on the ground. So I probably probably killed about a dozen or two that would have got me if I wasn't so quick on the draw. I mean, it's like Bruce Lee style. This is almost too relaxing out here. Sitting here on the river watching the sunset. So that diagonal space and that sheathing board behind the siding that crosses the floor joist at every joist it looks like. Normally I would try to seal this up from the inside, but because that crosses floor joist at each joist, I can come in anywhere on the outside of this house. And because of the siding style, I mean they, they can come in over here, walk this to an opening here and come across or start anywhere in this floor space. So the only way really to seal this one up is from the outside. Um, I'd have to pull siding to do it or spot uh, spot fill it like he's doing there. And that'll take care of them at least until swarm season. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't get another one. I know the uh, that house over there, we pulled out. It's been, I think it's been three years ago. They haven't gotten another one soon. Send me some love.
that's going on YouTube.